The thunderstorms have moved away at BMO Field. Clear skies as Toronto FC gets set to face Chicago Fire. The first of two meetings between the teams this season and a big one for Chicago Fire. They could go into the playoff places if they can get a win. To Look to push forward and support the forwards. Jeremy Hall will anchor and sit in front of the back four. And Robert Earnshaw leads the line. He has six goals discredited this year but hasn't scored since June. He'll be looking to change that tonight. Florenowitz will sit in front of that back four. He'll break things up and play that first pass forward. And Chris Rolf partners Mike McGee. We said already 15 goals to his credit. He's having a great season. Equity as well down that right hand side. They can go forward, support the attack, create chances for the strikers to finish. Chicago Fire will get things underway in the blue here at BMO Field. Chicago with 35 points from 26 matches with just two wins away from home on the road this season. Especially to organize that wall on the free kick. It's been one of the few bright spots for Toronto FC this season is Joe Bendick. Sumari clears away up towards Niarko. Niarko back in the starting 11 after coming off the bench the last three games for Chicago. Kicked over the top towards Mike McGee. And Mike McGee scores for Chicago. It's his 16th goal of the season. And the fire leads in the 20th minute of play. You talk about learning curves for young players. Mike McGee pulls off the shoulder of Daniel Henry, times his run to perfection, and does he get a touch on that? <laughs> it's, I'm sure he's going to claim it. There's not much change in direction on that ball. Great little flip ball over the top. Joe Bendick has to stay with the flight of the ball there. He'll be frustrated with that one, knowing that's a mistake on his part. Henry across the back. And now Toronto FC must show something going forward. They have to show some attacking intent. I think it's very telling though in the first 20 minutes of this game that Gonzalo Cigars has gotten forward from that fullback position on a number of occasions and Ashton Morgan hasn't. Hunger's ball to the back post. This is Robert Earnshaw. Earnshaw! Soon behind for just two minutes at BMO Field. And Robert Earnshaw has waited a while but gets his seventh goal of the year. Well, I think Robert Earnshaw might have hurt himself on this play. He's favoring his hamstring right now, but a great ball in from that left hand side. No one deals with it. What Sumari is doing is beyond me. He can't let that ball go through his legs there. He has to get a foot on it. And Earnshaw shows great composure, waits for Cigars to slide by, and then side foots home. On the score, Dilly Duker in the 20th minute, Robert Earnshaw in the 23rd. Chicago with the opportunity to go into the top five if they can get a win here in Toronto tonight. Nice play from Ray. Is in lots of space, Ray decides to go himself, and Johnson makes the save. Bobby Convey screaming for the ball from Ray, who didn't pass. Bobby Convey, or either that, he was a bit greedy. Great work to get past the fullback, and there's Bobby Convey, wide open space. There was an opportunity as well before Justin Braun closed that space for Ray to play it into the path of Convey. He didn't do that. Good footwork from the Spaniard. And right there is the passing lane. He doesn't see it. Braun goes into it. Very last year. Johnson the keeper as well. Play through looking for Andrew Wiedemann down the left here. Justin Braun making the run into the middle. Azorio there as well. It's back out from Wiedemann to Ray. Crossbar from Ray, and Azorio will try and follow up here. A great ball out wide into the path of Andrew Wiedemann from Bobby Convy. Wiedemann, good awareness to set that back for Ray. As soon as he takes that first touch, he's setting himself up to have a strike on goal. Rings the crossbar. Fantastic finish. Good strike on goal. Miracle playing that ball in towards the edge of the box. Laid back off for Duca. Osorio with a challenge. And Justin Braun makes a run and then through the middle this is Avaro Ray into the path of Justin Braun. 
wanted it played early. Vaughan goes for goal himself. And the referee gives the corner to Toronto FC. That's a, another example of lack of vision from Toronto's players. Justin Braun just has to play this ball forward into the path of Andrew Wiedemann. And he's in alone on goal. But he tries to go it himself. It's a good effort to get a shot off through the legs of Laurentowitz. Doesn't hit the target though. But just there again, you see that opportunity to make that pass. Braun didn't see it. Couldn't hit the target. Causing some problems for this Chicago back line. Ray. The cross is deep and headed away. Picked up now by Mike McGee. Rolf. Rolls it through for Miracle. And Miracle saved by Bendit. The former Toronto FC man with a chance to give Chicago the lead. And again, you see the massive gap between the Toronto midfield and the back four. They're giving Chicago space to operate in. They just can't do that. Great save from Joe Bennett. Ray manages to get this one away. Now picked up by Bobby Convey. Over halfway, and here's Justin Braun. He's in on goal. Justin Braun, blocked by Sumare. Well, he just didn't have the legs to get away from Sumare. To Justin Braun, right deep ahead, burst a lung to get into a position at the far post. There's no passing lane for Braun to get the ball across to him, though. And Joe Bendick will be able to take that one. And that should just about be it here. As referee Jeff Gamble calls full time. And Toronto FC take a point against playoff chasing Chicago Fire.